Several area restaurants on edge and on alert after a string of break-ins. Yeah, burglars have hit different restaurants spanning from Elk Grove to Woodland, and police are still trying to figure out if the crimes are related. CBS 13's Brady Halbly with the battle between crooks and cooks. The door leading to the back patio at Coogee Asian Grill is boarded up after it was smashed in during the early morning hours of July 3rd. And while the thief wasn't able to steal any money, they did steal owner Kai Jung's peace of mind. What's worse is the sleep that we lose at night. Jung says the suspect used some kind of handheld smashing device to break in the lower portion of the door and crawl underneath the bar. The break in comes just two years after his restaurant was vandalized after someone threw a rock through the side window. And while he does have cameras, he's debated putting on bars on his windows, but he's hesitant. So if it just really changes the atmosphere of your restaurant. Kuji Asian Grill was one of four other Asian restaurants broken into over the weekend. The other three were Tea Culture, Fujia, and T Percent Coffee and Tea. I don't want to believe that this was, you know, a hate crime or targeted to, to me because, because we're an Asian business, but it's hard not to, to feel like that sometimes. Meanwhile, to the south, just days before, Tea Culture in Elk Grove was broken into in a similar way. This time, it was four suspects who were able to steal an entire cash register. And they grabbed this whole register, and they just, they did this. And like... There wasn't a lot of money inside, but they had to come up with the money to repair damages and find a new register. The owner tells me this, too, is their second break-in and vandalism. Meanwhile, Jung says he's thankful for the community support and will bounce back. You know, we're going to keep, we're going to get back up and we're going to keep doing what we love to do, right? Cooking and making great food for, for our community. Just trying to make a living out there. Now, Brady adds Elk Grove PD says they do work with other law enforcement agencies in cases like this, but it's too early to tell if they're all connected. As for if they're hate crimes, they say also it is too early in the investigation.